Welcome back. So glad you are here. Uh, we're going to be talking dating right now. And um, I think in this day and age, it's different from going to maybe a bar and meeting someone and exchanging numbers. <laughs> a lot of people dating online now and uh, a lot of apps around. We're going to be talking about a Canadian success story here. Singles around me, Christopher Klotz is the president and CEO based out of Ottawa. Based out of Ottawa, yeah. Thanks for, nice to be here. Well, this is, I love a success story, especially if it's a Canadian and especially if it's within our region. But yeah. uh, this predates Tinder and explain what Tinder yeah, is first I mean, of all. We started this company in 2010, so we were the first dating app in the world, location-based dating app. Which world. means what? Which means, that essentially means we use GPS on the phone which plots your location and single people that we within 100 feet or 100 kilometers of you, depending on how you want to play that within your, within your toggle. So it, whether it's here in Kingston or whether you're going down to New York City or whether you go to Cape Town, South Africa or whether you're in Sydney, Australia. This people, is all over the world. Yeah, right? people yeah. are using singles around me everywhere. I mean, we get 200,000 people that join the app every three to four weeks. So it's rarely major. Uh, Tinder has explained that it's a bit of a meat market out there. It's like you're, you know, you're out there and you go, oh, I feel like meeting someone at this moment. And you scroll and you look at their pictures. Yeah, I'll see if this person's around. Yeah, yeah. This is a little bit different. Singles yeah, around. Tinder and those sort of companies are new in the last two, three years. They're very interesting business models. They really go by first impression. So I like your photo or I don't. You know, if I don't like you, I swipe you left. You'll never have a chance to talk to them ever again. Uh, if you swipe right on those things, then they say, then it's like, okay, he likes me, but you have to wait, I like her, but you have to wait for her to like you back. So you really can't break through, you can't show your personality. Mm. So, you know, different models are out there, and we've, we've obviously... So this is strictly based on looks, obviously. That's just based on pure instinct, right? It's pure primal instinct. So it singles around me, is a little different. We, we give you a, a chance to make a first impression, in other words. So you can talk to the person, you're open to talk to them, you can, of course, you can like them, and if they like you back, you actually, we actually show you that they liked you. So you sort of narrow it down and say, oh, that girl likes me, I'm going to go, maybe I'll, I'll investigate her a little bit further. So we're not closing the gateway, we're keeping it open, just like it is in the real world. Now, uh, when you're on, and you can see we're looking at some graphics right now, yep. uh, do you know this girl, by the way? Where is she from? Uh, Kingston. I'm I just kidding. Her. I haven't met her. <laughs> <laughs> I'm getting in trouble here from my floor director. But you can see there's, How little, old are you? there's little pins that, oh, what about this one here? Yeah. She's from Kingston too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Sorry. There we See, go. there's these pins that pop up that show. Right. This is Kingston we're looking at this right here. This is Kingston, here. yeah, right here. So if I was to go on, I would see pins of people that I would be attracted to, maybe. Yeah, right there. So those are those are people within your vicinity that plot up, and then you swipe over to the other side, and you can see all the faces of these people. And then you, you know, if you want to start to engage, you go ahead and engage. So the pins are neat because it's exciting. It's a, it's like it, it's a wow factor. Mm -hmm. uh, but if people don't want to show themselves on a on a pin, then they completely say, "Don't show my like." Or, or shift me a couple of miles. So we, we've got all that covered, and people seem to really like that. Do you have success stories that you've talked to oh, people? Oh, man, there are success stories all over the world. People getting married, people falling in love every day. I mean, we get two and a half million people that join this app every year. So we're out there now for five years. We've had a lot of success stories. That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, and it's a free app. Yeah, at the moment, it's free. It won't be for too long. Like you mentioned, our competitors of ours, like Tinder, I mean, we'll all eventually have to have to you know, uh, pay the piper someday, and we have to sort of convert to revenue. But in a world of, of trying to get content, um, as you guys know in the media, content is king. In our case, it's, it's actually single people. So we've had to go you know, de invest deeply to build up our, our, our war chest of, of, uh, of content. There are going to be some people out there that say, oh, it's just people you know, looking to have fun and stuff. No, yeah. there are some people that are lonely, and they yeah. don't want to go out. Right. And they don't want to do that bar scene thing. Right. And well, so it, this is a legitimate way to fulfill, fulfill uh, that hole in your life, maybe. Yeah, it, just, it just opens up a new avenue, right? I mean, it is, it is it's the, the younger age use this, these apps all the time. It's just normal now. You know, you probably, I mean, the stats will out there. They'll tell you most people meet on dating apps. Now they don't meet in bars. Right. You know? I like um, the old-fashioned way. Yeah. I mean, plenty of fish. <laughs> plenty <laughs> is of that fish. website still around? That's still around. I mean, it's, <laughs> it got bought out for $580 million. It's a big sign. Wow. That's the old-fashioned way. So that's the old-fashioned yeah. way. We're the new guys on the block, and we're different. You know, we're all GPS, we're location, and we're real, right? We're showing you where you are. So you can't fake it like these other Ashley Madison sites, you know, you right. all fake and they're not real. I mean, these are actually real people with real locations, so you know that they're, you're legitimate. Well, congratulations. Uh, I love the fact that this was developed, uh, and you've been, you've been featured on NBC and yeah, yeah, we've been, CNN. Yeah, and yeah, we were on the cover of, of uh, USA Today two years ago on Valentine's Day. That's amazing. Yeah, it was pretty fun. Christopher, congratulations. Keep up the great job. Thank you. Good Thank to be you. here. Right. Do you know that number of that girl that we just... Sorry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs>